Everyone was running out of toilet paper. Customers were going crazy. And it would be like, we'd put the toilet paper up 6 a.m. by 6.30. By 6.30, it was gone. And people were going crazy. And they were, they, we'd have customers go into the back of the store, where it's like employees only, to like see if the manager's like lying to them about not having toilet paper or... Um, Water bottles was the other one. Toilet paper and water bottles. We were completely out. I've been working at this grocery store for a year and a half by now, and I hadn't seen these people, you know. You get to know some of the customers, but they just don't care. They were, they were angry. They didn't trust you anymore. They lost that trust um, that they used to have in you. Like if it used to be, I say, like, "Oh no, we don't have any more in the back." They'll be like, "Are you sure?" Like they can't talk to a manager. Like they just don't trust you anymore because of the pandemic. You have the obvious concerns of we're working there. In the, like, could we get sick? Um, my store put up plexiglass, which is like a good start, but it's like, it's clearly not enough. They started spacing us out, which helped a lot. Instead of, you know, people being clumped in on like three registers, you spread people out across the whole line of registers, working there, you know, 20, 30 hours a week. Some people work in full time you know, you get really worried about, oh, I could get sick, I get corona, I could come home. Like, I wasn't worried about my health in terms of, like, oh, I might die from it, because I, I, that's just not what I was thinking. But, you know, if I brought it home and I gave it to my dad or I gave it to my grandparents or something like that, that could have gotten really bad. It, it was really interesting, because going to work, at a certain point was the only time I'd ever leave my house. You know, you don't go anywhere, you just go work, you come straight home. And that was more than some people were leaving their homes because I remember I was talking to my friend who was going to college and he'd said, yeah, he hadn't left his house. He had left his house like one time in the past like three months, which was just crazy to me because I was working like five days a week at a grocery store I, I was so desensitized to like wearing a mask or, or washing hands all the time. It was very frustrating. Uh, once the state had issued a mask mandate that our store wouldn't enforce it. That was very annoying because they'll say stuff like, oh, we can't do that because if they have a medical condition, we can't discriminate against them because, you know, if they got a medical condition, they can't wear a mask, then we've just discriminated against them. And I'm like, that's just bull crap. That's bull crap. There's no reason, like, just offer to shop for them. Like, have someone whose job it is to go and, sh and shop for them. You don't need to let these people into the store if they're not wearing a mask. It puts everyone else's health at risk. And a majority, a giant majority of the people who weren't wearing masks were not doing it because they had a health concern. It was, they don't believe in science and they don't think masks are worth wearing. 